Hello and welcome to the third part of this tutorial and here we'll be showing some tricks how to use the blender to have some very nice very simple ropes and you can already see that I have two different kinds of ropes here and they are all based on a curve so if you have a look at, look at that one it's a curve a path actually the same one here but two different methods and this one is a very quick method that I can show you once again it needs very few polygons let's deactivate everything we don't need let's insert a path have a look at this one can't really see it well let's make it visible let's go to the bevel here in this tab and make it a little bigger and you have this shape that you already need that you can change and you already have a lot of things that you need for your rope as you can see not much required just changing one thing you can change it afterwards as well any way you like um, it's all about the material so let's start the material let's give it let's make this a little bigger let's give it a nice color something orangey yeah, we can change that later as well and it's all about the texture and image texture that we need that will look something like that it's actually this texture that I'm using if you want to use it as well I can also make a link to this texture or you make it pretty simple and let's insert this in here let's connect the color to the displacement and we already have something interestingly looking not perfect yet but we can change it by using here the mapping node which we need here which will first destroy everything we put it in here but we can save it very quickly with a texture coordinate just forgets that it should use the UV which is already done here interestingly enough and now we can change the scale here make it look a little better at some points it's a little twisted I have to work maybe on the texture again no let's not change this one let's maybe change this one to 10 or to 20 and this one to 2 any way you like and you can see you have the basic shape and you can even twist it you can extrude this one which you cannot do is too much because then it gets yeah, kind of torn which we don't want so we need some of the vertices but if you change it a little bit grab it over here now extrude it again it does work and it gives you a very easy way to have the shape and I actually used it on let's deactivate everything I used it on this rope very nice very simple method that you can use I also used it in this animation here you can also keyframe it so you can have even things moving here over it nothing else than the method I just showed you very nice very quick and better to use than any other method I mean if the, to, to actually make vertices here have the shape look like that it's possible but it is a lot of work and not really necessary for here um, here I used a little different method I also um, have a path that I use but here it works that I can even shape it in a different form it still works I can even have shape keys here which you can see here which I used for my animation looks a little odd now but it works in the animation if you have a look at it it goes up and the rest forms with it well here I used the old method of having a cube or a cylinder now I have a lot of cylinders but that's just because of the modifiers here that you can see and I'll deactivate this one and you can see it starts with one cylinder and I then use the array modifier to have lots of them and then I tell the whole thing to follow the curve this is a very basic method that you can see a lot of tutorials on especially like making sci-fi hallways uh, usually use that method because of course it repeats itself and then you don't have to model it again and again and this one as I said also works um, does it change very proportional 
Uh, let's activate this one again. Let's go into this mode as I showed you. No matter how you twist it, it puts it on the right way. It always looks pretty good. And once again, all of it is done with the material, basically the same material I used here for this block and tackle. Okay, that's it for the third part of this tutorial.